Hello and welcome. My name is Rene Schimmer. I'm the product manager for HCL Connections. Today I'm going to spend a few minutes to talk about the latest uh, release that we're putting out there, which is called HCL Connections 6 CR6. CR6 stands for Cumulative Refresh. And I'll tell you a little bit about what's in this um, first release since we uh, transitioned over to HCL software. So very exciting because this is the first time we are releasing uh, code out of HCL software for connections. And with that, we are continuing the quarterly cadence of cumulative refreshes to our customers and partners to make sure that we keep a steady drumbeat and have new capabilities in the hands of our end users. CR6 is a release that does a little bit of groundwork. Um, we have uh, focused more on, on fixes and infrastructure. So first of all, I want to spend a moment here on the component pack. The component pack is um, a, a suite of um, solutions, including Orient Me and the customizer, um, that customers can install to add additional capability on the new technology stack uh, using uh, containers, etc. We replaced um, Solar with Elasticsearch throughout the component pack. We used Elasticsearch before, and for a while we've been using both Solar and Elasticsearch. Now we uh, unified everything on Elasticsearch, so this makes it easier to install, maintain, etc. So that will lower the total cost of ownership for our customers and partners. Um, we also have something called Customizer Lite um, now available with the component pack. I have a slide on that, so I'll get back to it in just a moment. Um, I'll also have an individual slide for the next line item here, which is a really exciting end user facing new capability uh, if you are on a mobile device. And this is the ability to create a community through your telephone or tablet. And then lastly, again, back on the component pack, we um, created additional resources around enablement and documentation. Since this was one of the uh, feedback items that we got from our customers in the idea portal, as well as in uh, conversations, that installing the component pack um, could be made a little bit easier. And often it was just a matter of um, additional information on certain steps that needed to be taken to get it running. So look out for additional documentation and videos, etc. Also, we updated uh, a number of components in the component pack, third party components that we leverage um, in there. So this is now up to date and um, with all the latest versions of each of the required um, individual components. So let's take a look at the Connections Customizer Lite. Well, first of all, what is it? The Customizer is an incredibly powerful tool that you get with the component pack that makes it easier to customize the connections experience. Rather than having to go in and, and do heavy coding, you can now much easier um, change the user interface, the, the look and feel, the colors, the fonts, etc. Uh, even to some extent business logic within the connections environment by simply uploading uh, JavaScript and um, having that um, run every time a user requests a certain page via a proxy server that feeds that additional code into the browser at the end user's request. Um, we actually made one big change. We had the customizer light available as a proof of concept, but we have not yet formally uh, GA'd it, GA being general availability, because uh, it was not available in a high availability environment. And that is the big change um, that we're adding here with CR6 that we now officially support a production deployment with high availability um, for the customizer. So where before you probably just used it to kick the tires a little bit now with uh, using customizer light, if you only want that and not the full component pack, you can do that. So let's shift gears and talk a little bit about the basic create community on mobile. 
Um, I recorded a full video on this capability alone, which uh, will be available on YouTube shortly, uh, that goes through all the capabilities. But what's important here is that, of course, you've always been able to create a community and connections through the browser on your desktop, but so far, uh, this was not available to users using a mobile device, and we just added that. So now on a phone or a tablet, you can go to the community catalog page, click the plus sign on the iPad or uh, the, the menu behind the three dots on the phone and hit create community, providing name, description, and what type of access um, should be managed with this community. Connections will then create the community um, using the standard layout and the defined set of standard apps. Uh, this is the first release of this capability. So there are a number of things that we already know we will add later. So keep an eye out for improvements coming in this area uh, at a later time. Another feature that we're adding in the CR6 timeframe on mobile is the ability to paste a link or URL into a status update on your mobile device and then connections will automatically render a preview within your status update. So users who are following you um, see the, the rendering of the URL preview in that status update. And then lastly, as a summary, um, I just wanna get the point across again that the acquisition and the transfer over to HCL was just two months ago. Uh, and we're really proud to um, uh, keep the promise of coming out with a CR release within the three months time frame after the uh, close of deal. So um, this is what we're doing. And then end of September, this CR6 will be available for download. Um, but in addition to what I talked about earlier, there's also a list of fixes that you can see uh, in the small print here on the right. Um, so as usual, CR not only contains, you know, larger items, it also contains always a, a list of fixes that we make available with that particular CR. With that, I hope you enjoyed this update uh, and uh, hopefully provided some useful information. Thank you and talk to you next time. Bye bye.